They're giving us an afro beat. I'm about to faint. Yeah, boy. Hi, Sneakies. It's me, Fifi, and I'm back. I'm back again today with another TXT reaction for you guys and today of course i will be doing an album first listen uh shit i haven't got the album written here uh you know the album okay it's in the title uh, i forgot to write it down i forgot what it's called i'm sorry about that um but yeah i'm gonna be doing an album first listen okay for their most recent album the one they literally just dropped okay the the album for sugar rush fried okay I'm recording this intro before like anything's dropped anyway. Anyway, so if you missed my reaction to the title track, you can go over and find it in my TXT playlist on my channel, along with all my other TXT reactions. Um, or if you're watching this in real time, like the day it dropped, it's literally the last video I posted. Um, so in this other first listen, we have, uh, guys, it's really windy where I'm at right now, like super windy. So if you can hear loud noises, that's what it is. Also, I can see like stuff like flying around, like cat toys and stuff just flying around. Um, so if you see my eyes wander sometimes, that's what it is. So the four B-sides I'm going to be checking out in this are Devil by the Window, um, Happy Fools, uh, Tinnitus, tin tinnit I don't know how to pronounce that word. Listen. I'm a native English speaker and I don't know how to pronounce that word. And uh, farewell, Neverland. I'm super, super excited. Let's just go. Okay, guys, let's go. We're starting off the album with the track Devil by the Window. They always have like references to devils and stuff. If anyone knows the connection to do with the storyline, please let me know in the comments. Um, also, disclaimer, I'm aware that lyric videos are sometimes wrong. Uh, so please don't be like, oh, 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 oh. if there's a mistake, just correct it in the comments and leave it at that because there's nothing I can do. I've already reacted to it. Also, um, I won't be doing any sort of like lyrical analysis or anything like that. The music is my priority. I'm going to be concentrating on the music production and their vocals. That's what I'll be commenting on. Uh, so please don't expect some sort of like deep talk on the lyrics. I'm just not going to be concentrating on them. I'm just going to be reading them as they're there. Let's go. Oh, I love an answer. But 
structure of that song it was a little bit different immediately it gave like this haunting vibe there were so many details to this song the instrumental even their vocals like the ad-libs also it sounded like there was a female vocal in the back i also noticed that in the title track as well but i'm not 100 sure um what was i saying uh it had like almost like a haunting vibe this definitely had a little bit of a deeper vibe to the title track but it was still like the tempo it was still something quite lively about it. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Something quite lively about it. And their delivery in this, the way that we were delivering their lines were insane. Insane. They are so charismatic. They're so charismatic as like singers, as performers, as dancers. That was absolutely incredible. And then that switch up, I thought it was the bridge and I was like, man, this is going for, e you guys know the bridge is my favorite part of a song. I was like, damn, this is going extra long. The vibes, the harmonies, it sounded so dreamy. Maybe not dreamy because this had almost a little bit of a more of a haunting, sinister vibe to it. So maybe it was like being in a nightmare, almost. Do you know what I mean? Like that. And I loved how long it was going for. You guys know when I, when there's a moment I really, really like in a song, especially if it's like a switch up like that and it goes to something a little bit more mellow, I love for it to be just to be long so we can take it in and enjoy it. And I love how it wasn't the bridge and we didn't go into the chorus again and the song just sort of ended on that sort of note. And it just sort of leaves you like in this weird sort of, ah, floating still, if that makes sense. Just like, ah, oh, I can't explain it. That was Okay guys, let's go. The next track is called Happy Falls and it's featuring an artist called Coilere. I don't know the pronounce her name, I'm sorry. Um, I've actually never heard of her before. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Oh, okay. It's giving me Latin jazz already immediately. Oh, scratching. Oh, happy, 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 happy,
Because going off that previous track, going off that previous track into that, that was a major snakery. I got snaked. We all got snaked. TXT out and it's snaking me immediately. I was like, yeah, that's given Latin jazz vibes immediately. It definitely did have Latin jazz influences in there, especially with the instrumentation. That flute in the back was stunning. Stunning. You guys know I live for little details like that and little. Oh my goodness gracious me. The melodies in that again, the fools. I think that's that was the, the one part that was just oh and they did it so many times as well. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. They sounded absolutely fantastic in that. I love how sort of fun it was. It was very it was very um uh, I was it like an uplifting song. It was just a very it was just very fun and joyful. Um it made me very, very happy. Oh, I don't know. I feel like the title track might be my favourite track on this album. That might have to be my second one. I also really, really liked Coyle Ray. I really liked her voice. Her tone was really, really nice. Also, I liked her style. She was really, really cool the way she was delivering her lines. Um, and then I loved how like their voices were all meshing together towards the end and at the end when they were singing the... Fools. I loved it. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next we have... T Listen... Okay, I'm English, literally born in Britain, born and raised in London, England, but I just never know how to pronounce this word. I know what it means, I know what it means, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know if it's tinnitus, tinnitus, I feel like it might be tinnitus, I feel that's what I've heard. Anyway, I'm excited. I already know it's about to be a bop because I know this album's about to be a, a 10 out of 10. Let's go. <coughs> They're giving us an Afro beat. I'm about to faint. Oh no, guys, I'm West African. I'm Ghanaian. Nobody told me to say I'm Nigerian. Ghanaian. British, born and bred in London. It goes to say I am half Ghanaian, half Ghanaian, half Greek. 
I'm a West African woman. Bro, where are all my West Africans? Where are all my Africans? I don't care where in Africa you're from. If you're from Africa, if you are from the motherland, leave a comment and let me know where in Africa you're from. And if you're from Ghana, oh my God. I swear to God, that made me so happy. I love Afrobeats. Being Ghanaian, like, you don't even have to be Ghanaian or African, okay, to love Afrobeats. They just, the sounds just, they just, the sounds just resonate, okay? That's why it's so popular. It's so popular in the world. It's so popular everywhere. The bees are just so, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm so excited and I'm so happy. It's not like I'm not used to hearing Afrobeats and K-pop because I am. Um, NCT have used Afrobeats quite a few times. Um, other groups as well, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, some groups can't put it off that well. NCT always do. NCT always come through for me when it comes to like Afrobeats and stuff. But I was not expecting, okay, I snake myself again, TXT to come through with an Afrobeat like that, okay, and to kill it like that. They might have actually done the best Afrobeat K pop song. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you right now. They might have actually just pulled off the best K-pop Afrobeat song. They killed it. The way they were delivering it. They got they got it. They got it. They they got it. They got the vibe. They got the vibe. I'm in shock, that was so good. Let's just go into the next one. Okay, guys, let's go. Last but not least, we have the track Farewell Neverland. Let's go. Ooh. I feel like I'm about to go on a journey.
Damn, they put a lot of really uh, short, well not really short, short songs on this album. That was really nice. That had a little bit of a spicy vibe to it, but we went back to a bit more of the sort of haunting vibe we had um, with the first B-sides. I forgot what it's called, about Devils. Guys, I've got ADHD, okay? Don't expect me to remember song names and numbers or anything factual. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but it was really, really nice. I loved their delivery. I loved how they were singing in their low registers until fucking Sugan came in with that falsetto. was stunning. I loved the guitars all throughout that. Um, I was going to say, I, I kind of wish that one was a little bit longer. I kind of wish that one was a little bit longer because I feel like they could have gone for something a little bit more epic in the end. But maybe they went for something, that little bit of a wanting more type of vibe again. I'm not sure. I would have liked to have been longer. Uh, but again, it was a vibe. This whole album was like fucking 10 out of 10 impeccable. 10 out of 10 impeccable. I'm going to rank the songs. Okay. So my favourite track, believe it or not, is the title track. Rare. Rare. Not just rare for me, I think it's rare for many people for a title track to be the best track on an album. But that title track was really good. So first place is uh, Sugar Rush Ride. Second place is Tinnitus. Tinnitus? Okay, the Afro Beats one. Number three is uh, Happy Falls, for sure. Number four. Four is Devil by the Window, and number five is Farewell Neverland. Uh, let me know your ranking in the comments, or your top three songs, or your favourite song. If you can't pick, just let me know how much you love this album, because it is fantastic. They never disappoint at this point. Um, also, what was I going to say? I can't remember, I was going to say something else. I don't know. I want to try and react to some more content of theirs. Uh, I was reacting to like funny compilation videos like of each member so we can get to know the members more. Um, I did Kai, I did Kim and Kai, I think. Did I do someone else? I can't remember. I'll see what I can do, guys. I love TXD, okay? I love Tomorrow Buy Together. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Gonna find me on Instagram, guys. Gonna find me on Twitter. And yeah, goodbye. Oh!